they're a pretty big football club and last year was terribly disappointing, um, both results and performance. The ultimate goal was always to win the league and get straight back up in the NPL. After a year to forget, Tuggeranong United are back in the top flight of ACT football for 2023. United were relegated after a winless record at the end of the COVID-19 affected 2021 season, but were determined more than ever to make it back to the top flight. We were at the time of the conclusion with, with lockdown that at that point we were the worst team in the competition, we were sitting on the bottom of the ladder, but mathematically nothing had been confirmed yet. There were still matches to play, there was still everything to do. So it, was, it left a bit of taste. Um, I still sort of refer to it as a, a boardroom relegation because it didn't happen on the pitch. Had a point to prove, the whole team did. The boys that were there last year had to prove that you know, they deserved to be in the top flight and us new boys that came in had to prove that we're good enough for CPL and now we've got to prove we're good enough for MPL. So. A major contributing factor to the team's success has been the insurmountable amount of young talent that's come into the squad. United prides itself on having a very strong youth development and recruiting program and head coach Mitch Stevens is excited to continue that legacy. I love giving a young player a go. Teresi Mbogo, Harrison Brunel, we see these young guys from the regions like Luke Stevens and Paddy Hislop, Mark Richards, Lewis Kaminsky, you name it. Like we've got so many good young players come through and it does, it's really exciting to be part of. One player who aided the side's promotion this year was superstar striker Luke Stevens. The talented youngster was the focal point in attack for United, producing double digits in both goals and assists in his debut season for the club. Mitch Stevens explained that even when Luke's goal scoring slowed down, he was still able to help the team in other areas. Luke is awesome. You know, there was a recent patch of three games where I think he got seven or six. The goal output sort of dried up a little, um, but in terms of creativity and what he brought in terms of yeah, goal contribution, um, his assist didn't slow down. So he ended up finishing the league season as our top assist provider. The former Walker City Wanderers player linked up with former teammate Patrick Hislop after the duo moved to Canberra for university. Hislop said it was very easy to fit into a new squad that featured some familiar faces. Integrating into the side, I had boys that I knew, so that always makes it easier. Uh, Steve-O, his quality, and he was, he was sort of who got Mitch onto me, so I've got a lot to thank Steve-O for. While expectations are high going into the 2023 season, United believe that with their current squad and the possibility of some new faces, they have the capability to shake up the competition and produce some major upsets. I think, yeah, for the title, I, I think that's probably going to be priority. I think we've got a, still got another point to prove that that is where we belong. I'd like to think we'll keep everyone. Definitely think there'll be one or two new fresh faces. I can't see why we can't give uh, the competition a real shake. And, yeah, not just be there to play, but be there to compete.